right let's run this test case okay just before that make sure your appm server is started yeah and then your emulator is open perfect now right click run as and say java application okay so you can quickly open the logs to check what's happening and you see here a app will open in this emulator and you can see the logs you see that api demos app is open it just got invoked congratulations we have successfully invoked an app with the help of appium okay so you see that 200 which is a success and these all are the logs and make a habit of watching the logs and find out the actual you know error or success okay so the log says everything if something goes wrong by seeing the logs you can understand where exactly the problem is okay so that's how you can start your testing you know this is the first step to begin with so see that i told you right initially infrastructure setup is the only hurdle in appium so thereafter from next lecture it's just a cakewalk you know we have taken up to two to two and a half hours to reach this point starting from a blank installation uh, we do not have anything in our machine we got sdk we got emulators the infrastructure took itself one one and a half hour for us and thereafter we need to know what about this capabilities how to form connection how to open the server so finally, once everything is set up in our machine, we were able to invoke an app in our emulator, which is our first success stone. Okay, now I need to tell you some tips before you start with a uh, testing. Here, you need to, once you run the test, it says script is completed and execution is done with the 200 status okay that's point number one thereafter connection is not immediately closed it will take some time to close the connection now you see that it will wait at least 60 seconds to close the connection if you run if you try to run the test again before the 60 seconds of finishing the previous test it fails saying connection is already opened in another test it will give you that error okay so what you need to do is you need to wait 60 seconds before you run another test so if you don't want to wait for 60 seconds if you want to quickly run another test you need to close that connection so how do you do that so before that just read out the commands here we have done till here our test is completed and after 60 seconds shutting down because we waited 60 seconds for a command okay you need to wait one minute before appium shuts down and then it's shutting down android driver it closed the session okay so once the session is closed you can start working again but if you don't want to wait 60 seconds till that session is closed you can forcibly stop the connection and start the connection again right don't confuse between the words connection and session i need to give this tip before you begin because no, people will face problem in running the test so once the test is completed this session takes 60 minutes oh sorry 60 seconds to close so once after session is closed you need not start the server again just a session is closed but connection is still open you can run your test but if you don't want to wait the 60 seconds and you want to run the test again you need to forcibly close the connection appium connection and then start it again so let's say we are in scenario one here i have waited for 60 seconds in explaining the concept so it finally closed that session and you can see that moving to state stop the connect uh, the specific session is closed and you can run the test again without tweaking anything here but in the before 60 seconds if you want to do hit control c to close the connection okay One moment. and you will get something like this receive sign it shutting down terminate bad job save y and hit an enter so that appm connection is fully closed 
Now start the connection again with the appm command. Hit and enter. Yeah, you see that. And now again, new connection is open. So just keep this step. And once you hit and enter, it will not quickly open that specific appm server. It might take some 15 to 20 seconds to open this. Okay, based upon the system RAM and everything. And when you start testing, and if you still, if you hit this run as Java application, and if you don't see any logs here, and if it is hanged to this point, just click on enter and see. So that program begins. So all these are little bugs here out, the, here out and there for this version. Maybe they'll fix in the later. Okay. These two are not the bugs. These are what they set a general default timeout. Okay. So, but programmatically, you can start this server and you can close it. Okay. Right now, manually, you are starting the server and you are closing it, right? You can do it programmatically, but I would tell you that all this in a later sections. Okay. Again, that involves a little code. I don't want to, you know, mess up everything in single shot. So first of all, let's learn some APM. Let's learn some automation. And if you see something is automating in apps, we will get some confidence. So thereafter, we can slowly come back and I will explain how to start and stop APM programmatically. Okay. So we need, you know, some kind of encouragement and confidence and that we will definitely get if we start automating something, right? So from the next lecture, we will actually look into those parts. So right now we are in this place. API demos. This got invoked. And now from here, I want to click on something and we need to swipe, we need to scroll. So all those we will start it from our next lecture. Okay. So that's it. I hope every infrastructure is ready now and you also need how to form a connection. And at the same time, please leave us a feedback if you are satisfied with our service. So I'm working hard to bring the best videos. And at the same time, you know, to explain each and every concept, I have done a pre-work. What can be the better explanation? So even really guys, I am also working hard to bring out the best experience and it all depends on you about how you rate me. So please rate us and show your support and that will really be big encouraging to me and boost us to create more and more exciting stuff. Okay. So thanks for understanding. And okay, in the next lecture, let's start with uh, handling this API demo app with the help of Appium. Okay, thank you guys.